and mobile subscription in the country has registered a 2.4% increase to 46.6 million subscribers compared to 45.5 million subscriptions recorded as of June this year. The Communications Authority says that the growth has been factored by developments in the mobile payments, cloud computing and mobile applications coupled with network expansion. Media Masava has more details on this. Increase in mobile subscription has led to financial inclusion through mobile money transfer. Money transacted through mobile money transfer stood at 2.02 trillion shillings from person to person. The numbers of mobile commerce transactions were 526.9 million valued at 1.5 trillion shillings. As at September this year, the number of active mobile money transfer agents stood at 218,495 while mobile money subscriptions stood at 29.7 million, meaning that 64% of the population had access to and used mobile money transfer services. Increase in mobile penetration that surpassed 100% mark is factored by most users owning more than one SIM card, either from the same or different service providers. From July to September, total traffic on mobile network rose 2.8% to stand at 14.34 billion minutes. On net and off net mobile voice traffic was registered at 12.6 billion minutes and 1.6 billion minutes respectively. The expiry of Safaricom to Nikiwa gifting promotion saw the total mobile voice traffic originating from Safaricom PLC network drop by 2.4% to record 8.9 billion minutes from 9.1 billion minutes reported last quarter. Introduction of VUCA to tariff by Airtel Networks Limited saw an increase of 13.8% in local mobile voice traffic during the period under review to post 4.7 billion minutes from 4.2 billion minutes recorded during the preceding quarter. Telecom Kenya Limited registered a total of 619.3 million minutes, marking a growth of 15.6% when compared to 535.5 million minutes reported in the preceding quarter. Miriam Masava, Y254 Business. And Nandi Hills MP Alfred Kater's fraud case has finally been pushed to that 1st January 2019. This comes after there was a realization on lack of supporting documents resulting to the postponement declaration made by Milimani Chief Magistrate Francis Andai. Alfred Keter was charged alongside two co-directors of Desai Industries, Madat Chatur and Arthur Sakwa, who he was nabbed with in July 2018 after allegedly presenting a set of forged treasury bills which were purportedly issued by the Central Bank of Kenya some years ago. According to Daniel Karuri, Senior Assistant Director of Public Prosecutions, the bills were misplaced at the office upon movements of things from one point to another. This is a second account after the three were released on two million cash bill after accusation of attempted theft early this year. Shifting gears now, local farms have won a 326 million shillings deal to supply agricultural machinery and equipment to 22 small and micro agricultural enterprises in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Eastern Africa Grain Council Executive Director Gerard Masila says the deal will increase intra regional trade and bring more players in the agriculture value chain. Agriculture enterprises from Democratic Republic of Congo signed a multi-million shillings deal with Kenyan agro-machinery companies, a move that saw local farms winning a 326 million shillings deal to supply agricultural machinery and equipment to 22 small and micro agricultural enterprises in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Traders from the Democratic Republic of Congo say the deal will lower the cost of production as agricultural harvest is taken to the neighboring Uganda and Zambia for storage and processing before being shipped back, increasing the cost of foodstuffs among the machinery to be supplied include grain cleaners, dryers, seed processors, packaging machines, graders, quality testing equipment, and post-harvest solutions.
Moving on, farmers are now assured of receiving 3,000 shillings per 90 kilogram bag of maize from the government. This is after they earlier threatened to march to State House in the course of the year upon Cabinet sitting on 22nd November agreement of a 90 kilogram bag purchase of maize at 2,300 shillings at the National Cereals and Produce Board. The announcement by the Agriculture and Research Principal Secretary Professor Hamid Boga for farmers to start receiving 3,000 Kenyan shillings for 90 kg bag of maize has finally put to an end the debate between the government and farmers. Maize farmers have always advocated for 3,600 for the same quantity which could not be met according to Professor Boga. Speaking during the Common Market for Eastern and Southern Africa region meeting, Professor Boga also added that the choice of the initial price was scientific as established by a research conducted by the Tegemeo Institute and the increment of payment shall bring minimal effects due to low maize production per acre. Professor Boga urged maize farmers to use the fertilizers effectively to enhance the production quality and high yields. And into some business uh, enters, France has uh, said it will introduce its own tax on big technology farms from next month. This comes after EU-wide efforts stalled. French uh, finance minister says he expects uh, the new tax to bring in £450 million in 2019. Earlier this year, the European Commission published proposals for a 3% tax on the revenues of large internet companies with global revenues above £675 million a year and taxable EU revenue above €50 million. Euros. The move would affect companies such as Google, Apple, Facebook and Amazon. The UK also plans to introduce a digital service tax from April 2020. Meanwhile, Twitter is awash with complaints from customers about orders that have been lost, delivered to wrong places, or damaged during transit. Warehousing, logistics, and online systems are all built to cope with the average levels of demand, and so they come under a lot of stress when volumes rise significantly. In the UK, between November and December, 387 million parcels are expected to be delivered by retailers up 13 percent on last year volumes in the u.s delivery giant expects to deliver nearly 800 million packages globally a 38 million increase on last year finally an announcement of new year job cuts at jaguar land rover underlined the scale of the challenge facing britain's biggest car maker Jaguar Land Rover Company has already announced $2.5 billion restructuring plan called Project Charge and Project Auxiliary. The world's biggest car market has been driving growth for years, not just for Jaguar Land Rover but for the global auto industry. The scale of China's slowing market was evident last month when total car sales fell 14% from a year earlier, marking the steepest drop in nearly seven years. China accounted for about 25% of Jaguar Land Rover sales and the company was building up production plants in the Asian country.